This video will show you how to add an assignment to your course. The process for adding Schoology pages and discussions is very similar. On your materials page, click on the Add Materials button and select Add Assignment. Give your assignment a title and then add your description. This should include a clear explanation of what you want your students to do. This may include images, videos, and links to other websites. Note that you have the option to minimize and expand this window by clicking on this little arrow here. The Rich Text Editor gives you many formatting options you'll be familiar with, like bold and italics, bullets and numbering. Click on this icon to see some additional formatting options, including clear formatting. If you're copying from another location, I recommend using this feature. Paste your content into the window, then select all the text and click clear formatting. Often content copied from other locations will look funky when pasted into Schoology. Using the clear formatting feature fixes the problem. The link button allows you to link to other websites or pages within Schoology. The insert content button allows you to add a variety of content to your assignment, including images and video. Click here to change font size. Once you've added the content to your description area, look at the options below. You can attach a file or a link. You can attach items from the resource area. You can record and attach an audio or video file. This last icon allows you to use an external tool, which you probably won't be doing. In this area, you can assign a due date and time, give the assignment a point value, and add more details. The items marked with an asterisk are mandatory. Additional videos will tell you more about Google Drive assignments, scales and rubrics, learning objectives, and how to make an assignment um, to an individual or small group. In the options area, click on this icon to individually assign the assignment, to lock the assignment, which means that students cannot submit. You might use this if you do not want to accept late submissions, for example. This icon enables or disables submissions. The default for assignments is submissions enabled, which means students can turn in the assignment electronically inside Schoology. If you will be collecting paper assignments in class, it's best to disable the submissions so students don't get confused. The next icon publishes or unpublishes the assignment, which determines whether or not students can view it. This icon allows you to enable grade statistics, which will allow students to see the grade statistic for your assignment. This icon lets you disable course comments. The default is for comments to be enabled. When working with kids, my preference is to disable comments on assignments. If students have questions about an assignment, I prefer they contact me directly either in class or via Schoology message. When working with adults, I often leave it enabled. Schoology has many places for students to comment and ask questions, which can make it difficult for a teacher to keep up. You'll need to experiment to see what works best for you. The last icon allows you to copy this assignment and all its settings to another course. Click Create to finish. The assignment will populate your materials page at the bottom of the page, but you can grab it and move it to another location just by dragging it. Another way to add an assignment is to hover over the page in any location until you see the green dotted line appear. Click on it and you'll get a pop-up list of the materials options. The assignment will appear in this exact location on your page. Once you click Create, if you have set the assignment to be published, here's what happens. It appears on your materials page and your students will also be able to view it. When a student submits an assignment, you will receive a notification at the top of Schoology. On the assignment page, you'll see a submissions area to the right if you have submissions enabled. Student names will be listed, 
along with some addi additional information, like if the assignment is on time or not, and whether or not it needs to be graded. Click on the student name to open and grade the assignment. Once you grade the assignment, it will automatically be added to your gradebook and students will be able to view their grade on their grade report. If students do a paper submission rather than submitting electronically, the teacher grades the assignment and manually enters the grade into the Schoology gradebook. This grade can then be viewed by the student on their grade report. More detailed videos are available for these topics. Google Drive assignments, scales and rubrics, individually assigning, and the Schoology gradebook.